In our first test with the rocket, we saw that the amount of water we used was good enough and that the structure of the entire rocket was efficient. The only problems were that the parachute did not deploy, and this was because of the way the strings were um, tied on and the material of the strings, which caused it to tangle. What we changed were the strings to uh, ensure that it would not tangle, and we also changed the fins, and we made sure that they were equally distributed within 120 degrees. We tried this at first, but it's better to be as precise and accurate as possible. The positives that we saw in our second launch were that the rocket went higher in a more straight pattern and this was due to the reason that we used less duct tape and it was also lighter and then we also taped it in a more proportional fashion which allowed it to go straighter. Unfortunately the plastic ring in the second launch did not deploy as quickly as it did in the first one and our upper portion of the bottle did not deploy. The physics in the water rocket. First of all, forces. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, the water and the air pressure, uh, the air pressure trying to escape the, the bottle, is what caused this force. Conservation of energy. Kinetic energy is as high as the moment the, the bottle is shot. Potential energy is high as the moment it reaches its highest point. Uh, energy is conserved throughout the whole flight. Conservation of momentum. The momentum lost by the rocket is the momentum gained by the water. Impulse. The tennis ball was added to decrease the hit, therefore adding the time and let, making sure the egg does not crack. 